Keep the door open, but you can't be back here. She's scared. I just saw a lady laying down on the floor, and two guys had them pinned down, and their knees was on her back. Indigenous leaders in Manitoba are calling for new measures to protect vulnerable people in the form of respectful apprehension requirements. That's after yet another video of an Indigenous woman being violently detained has surfaced from this Dollarama on Portage Avenue. The video shows a woman dragged into a back room of a Dollarama on Portage Avenue, screaming and yelling by three men. Her hands appear to be tied behind her back. Dora Woods was there and saw the scene unfolding in front of her, and she took out her phone and started to record, saying people need to see what happened. To show proof what they're doing to our women. It doesn't matter if she stole, she's just trying to survive, like every, each of us, everybody struggles out in the city. Wood says she felt the employees were disrespectful to her as well, in the video telling her they're able to detain the woman because she was shoplifting, but Wood says they should have called the police. The distress that she was in, it really broke my heart. A statement from MKO Grand Chief Garrison Seti says while the group does not condone any form of crime, the group does not condone what happened in the video, saying the video alone is traumatizing to our people. Seti is calling for the introduction of several policies to ensure those suspected of shoplifting are not victims and should be treated with dignity and respect, and physical force should only be used when necessary for safety reasons. They also want to see witness policies to ensure there is a female employee or third-party witness present when women are taken into private spaces. It is important to address these situations with sensitivity and care, especially when involving women. While shoplifting is undeniably a crime, it is often a desperate act committed by those facing severe, complex, and deeply rooted difficulties. City News went to Dollarama on Portage to try and find out more about the incident and what's being done, but no one at the store would answer our questions. You'd have to go through head office for that information. However, a man who was identified as management at the store confirmed no employees were involved. Dollarama corporate office did not get back to City News by deadline, and the Winnipeg Police Service declined comment. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.